Hello guys and welcome to another video of the Battlefield Doctor and uh, you can of course call me Sven um, yeah guys so well nowadays uh, it's feeling a little bit odd because back in the old days in 2006 when I started my YouTube channel it was like everyone had his um, yeah his fantasy name but nowadays I don't mind if someone is calling me Sven Back then I wanted to be only the Battlefield Doctor and you're remembering maybe the guy with the uh, Red Beret. Ah, that's a good time to include again my old uh, intro into this video. I hope I don't forget it because sometimes I'm just editing the video, uh, also listening to myself, but I'm not noticing that there is something that I actually wanted to do for the video, like in a, a little annotation or something like that. And later it's online and I'm thinking, oh Sven, you forgot something. Uh, anyway guys. I'm now in a parking garage here of the uh, Kaufland, um, yeah, it's just a, a big uh, supermarket and I'm just seeing the, I just wanted to walk down here the stairs and I was just seeing, yeah, you can see it actually behind me because I have really a great view from here, I didn't know that because usually I'm just parking over there and that's also where my car is, <laughs> <coughs> I'm of course still sick because it's still the same day Monday, October the uh, 2nd. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, I hope this will be alright until Wednesday, but I'm thinking so because it's uh, way better than it has been on uh, Saturday and on Sunday. Saturday was the worst day of all. I was just spending the entire day in the bed. Anyway, guys, so yeah, let me show you the area around here. So, guys, here on the left. You can see this is the old uh, blanket factory. Although still looking very old-fashioned, everything. I'm curious for how long this uh, thing will stand over there. Um, yeah, maybe not for too long. And here you can see, yeah. So here, this is the car of the center here, the historic center is just here in this valley of the Nagold River, which you can see here down below. And yeah, that was one of my vlogs when I was starting the travel vlog from Karl. I was uh, parking over there and walking around there. Here's the um, petrol station and here the thing, uh, the, the uh, cinema. Um, yeah, I heard that this cinema is going to get uh, destroyed very soon. Just in a couple of weeks, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, so there will go a tunnel because you can see, well, it's just going very high up and they just want to get all the main traffic that is going here slowly through this road uh, they want to get this one out of the center here so where i've also been here's for example the old gymnasium and here's the yellow uh, stone building and i'm thinking left left beside of that one no it must be right beside of that one is the uh, Palais Fischer and so on, yeah, and over there behind of that building there is the uh, area where I was uh, filming the swans, yeah, so you can just get a little overview of the area, and well, they're just uh, putting a tunnel from there to the other side of this, uh, well, let's call it a hill, and yeah, so to get the traffic just through there instead through the entire town because it's also a way that's going uh, yeah very very long through the entire entire old town here and then this will be just uh, getting silenced for the traffic so that you can only drive uh, very 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 slow even slower than now now you're oh, uh, now you're also driving slow here because you're only allowed to drive 40 kilometers per hour instead of uh, 50 but yeah that's what's going to happen here. Anyway guys, so I still uh, want to do some shopping. I need some groceries and uh, yeah, so, well maybe I find also some more diecast stuff and yeah, then I can show you my stuff that I was just uh, buying here. But anyway guys, uh, I'm just starting to go shopping. Maybe I will um, film a little bit from the inside of the store, but only uh, at the, uh, the hockey stuff. Well, I'm a little bit crazy. Um, I mean, uh, some people are saying, um, hey, 
Hey Sven, aren't you uh, 48 years old and you're still collecting or buying uh, uh, toy cars? Well, at the beginning I was all thinking these are toy cars, but uh, since I'm knowing that uh, these little uh, toy cars can grow so much in value, um, yeah, I mean, of course if I'm buying them now it will take maybe 30 years until they will have a nice, very nice value. But of course it also can happen that I'm finding a Matchbox Chase or a or a Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt. Well, it didn't appear to me, but they are of course more rare and they can be worth something. Not that I'm collecting all of these because of the value. I mean, I'm also collecting it because I'm remembering the cars and now I'm having my project here on YouTube and there's some stuff I want to show. Um, but well, still I have to do all the uh, classic car events showing on my other channel. And I'm thinking that I'm having already enough, enough content for the, entire, uh, for the entire winter. So when the next season is starting, then I'm most probably still having some videos left. I'm starting to create these videos longer there, uh, 15 minutes instead of uh, instead of uh, 10 minutes, and so yeah. But I'm still seeing. Ooh, 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 uh, it may take a while until I can start with my um, uh, with my uh, model cars there on that other channel. But yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I'm just uh, going down now. So guys, um, just walking down, and then I'm. I'm going to get uh, one of these, what are they actually called, trolleys, and then I'm going to shop some of the cool stuff. I'm just noticing that this thing is not exactly leading to where I was guessing. Seeming like this one is leading down to grow, but it's alright because down there is also something. Anyway guys, uh, I went to go shopping now and yeah, so see you in a second. Guys, here, take a look at this. That's something that I'm definitely getting because it's a Toyota Land Cruiser 80 with a greeting to a robot, four wheel jives. Uh, he still doesn't know this channel, but um, yeah, I will just mention him in the description. So he's getting an, a message that I was, uh, yeah, just um, tagging him. So that he's also knowing about this channel. I think it's another one. I'm just getting a second one because one I'm keeping in the cart and the other one I, I'm putting out of the cart. That's something I've got already. Pretty cool model. Scania. Well, that's cool stuff here. Oh, there's something not so much that I like, but yeah. What else do we have here? Uh, some more. More. Oh, there are lots of fantasy stuff. And this one is what I'm already having. Uh, here, what's, what's, that? what's this? Never seen this stuff. Yeah, the Mario Kart stuff. They must be pretty funny if you're using one of these uh, racing sets. Uh, I think I've already got this one. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, cool uh, cars. Mm -hmm, all right, here. Yeah, what is that? Lamborghini Estoque. 3.99. Nah, and I must really love the model. And so let's put it back. Spider-Man. Are you Team Spider-Man or are you Team uh, Batman? Hmm, I'm Team Sven. So that's also cool. Cool car. Cool car. This is a Wiesmann uh, GT. I would say. So maybe anywhere standing something. Uh, yeah, this one GT. Yeah, mm, nah, no, not really. For four euros, I think it was uh, one of the more expensive brands over here. Uh, this one is also something that I've already got. These are pretty cheap, but yeah, mm, it's also a nice set. But actually, only like uh, this, this, and this, and for this, um, nine euros is too much for my taste. Oh, this is also a nice set. And I'm going to get this one because it's a Land Rover, a Jeep. Uh, I don't know what this is, but they are looking cool. Maybe except of this one, but ta-da! That is also interesting. I've got a three, 
pieces box of Matchbox in Aldi just a few months before. There was this one, this one and this one. Yeah, what is also interesting here. Yeah. So, uh, let's see what have we got here. I was just thinking this is maybe a bone shaker, but uh, this is Matchbox. Can't be. <laughs> Matchbox delivery on it, also very cool. Oh, nice. I'm thinking I'm soon going bankruptcy, guys. And I'm just seeing all the cool stuff. Matchbox, wagons. Oh, it's amazing. So, what else have we got here? Police car. I'm thinking I'm already having this one. Don't, I don't need that. Fiscal Karma in this sun. Uh, that's also a very crazy car. Actually, it's not even a car, it's a fully electric uh, vehicle, but it's for children, I would say. Um, yeah, got this one as well. So, just this one I don't like. This, I mean, this is what I found in the uh, A71 center just not too long time ago. Oh, what's that? Come out! Uh -huh. Sometimes you need to rearrange everything to get to it. I know I'm already having this one. Toyota Tacoma, also a cool car, in my opinion. Oh, here's the stuff from Matchbox. Matchbox? Uh, from Matchbox, this is from. Um, this is kind of looking like a Citra. Citroën DS, but in a little futuristic style. Yeah, but it's. Nah, I'm also thinking I'm having enough for today. Maybe there's something else here at the bottom. Sometimes things are falling down and are suddenly hidden. And sometimes you can even find cool stuff, but uh, it's not looking like this right now. Uh, Tesla Model 3. Yeah, but. Um, for four euros, that's also too expensive. I mean, they are still having the normal, the normal wheels, so it's just only the card. And if you're getting it out of the card, then it was just a half in the value, just for some time. I'm missing the um, the mystery models, but well, that's it, guys. So yeah, enough from that. And yeah, I will see you. Just in a second uh, when I've finished my shopping. First I'm also going to get some uh, meat and some other stuff that I still need. So yeah, I'm not only here for <laughs> buying this stuff, but this is just the most interesting stuff, at least to me. And so you have to deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, see you in a second. So guys, I was just finishing my, uh, my shopping too, and I was just seeing this cool Peugeot 208. But it's uh, one of the cars from the Stellantis group. And I must say uh, that I actually like the design of Peugeot of nowadays. And this design here, this is really cool. I mean, with the, uh, with the uh, lion and so on in the two-tone here. I'm guessing this was made by someone uh, uh, who was not working at Peugeot. So most probably something... Uh, that was done aftermarket, but that uh, suiting the car very well. Really amazing. I like that car. Uh, I really must say that because, uh, yeah. So, some time ago, I didn't like so much these uh, Peugeot cars. Uh, the last Peugeot I had was a Peugeot 406. You can also find it here on my channel. It was the V6 one. It was a pretty cool car, but also expensive. Um, but yeah, and then later with the 407 and all the other stuff that was coming up, uh, I didn't like the design this much. But now, oh yeah, they are doing great work, even with Opel. So with when Opel joined PSA, so the new Corsa is actually also something I like in the design. Uh, but yeah, I'm not unhappy with uh, what I'm having here. So my fake Dodge, uh, guys. So I was just uh, paying for. The parking garage now I'm a little bit confused because uh, well it's seeming like everything is getting more expensive uh, all of my little uh, grocery shopping was also quite expensive but of course I was buying these two packs uh, of matchbox 
Uh, but uh, when I'm just all thinking about the rest, then yeah, everything is going to get more expensive, and it's feeling like the prices have doubled. And now about the parking ticket, uh, there was standing a half an hour is free, and then you have to pay one euro fifty. And I can remember, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm remembering that. Uh, just a few years ago, it was 19 minutes for free, and uh, 90, I mean, and yeah, now, and then the, the first hour was then uh, one euro, not one euro fifty. So price inflation is really going crazy these days. And also about the grocery shopping. I mean, some stuff like as dairy products and and a meat was going a little bit down again to a level like it has been before. Not fully, but yeah kind of um, but there's so much other stuff um, so like all the sausages and so on it's seeming like uh, they have doubled the price I don't know if it's in your country the same but it's yeah really crazy and I'm just thinking uh, to where is it going and I'm also thinking uh, about my boss uh, when are you starting to think about your uh, people who are working for you I mean uh, how long can we uh, work there, coming to work, uh, if everything is getting more expensive. I mean, my my rent uh, with all the extra costs has also increased more than 10%. Then of course driving to work or the uh, petrol, it's also again on a very high level. We are close to 2 euros per liter. And yeah, it's just a little bit insane what's uh, happening right now. And uh, just with an with a salary that hasn't changed for some years. Maybe I have to check for another job, but the uh, problem is also, I was actually thinking about that recently, but I was also thinking, hmm, now when everything's going down the entire economy, uh, this will not be this easy to, to, f to find a new job or to find a safe job. Uh, yeah, well, no risk, no fun is the other thing. Anyway guys, um, so I've got the stuff uh, that I wanted and stuff that I don't want it. Uh, or actually didn't want this much <laughs> because actually I've already got some uh, cool matchbox stuff but yeah. Oh well, I'm having that stuff now and uh, it's not uh, losing value or at least not uh, much. It depends of course on the model. Uh, but uh, I'm usually taking these uh, that I'm knowing that other people will also like for sure.